Hi, I'm uh, Tan again, one of the chief radiology residents. Um, wanted to introduce you to neuroradiology. Uh, I'll be doing neuroradiology fellowship. Been spending a lot of time in this section. So come on, we're in the Smilo Cancer Center, um, similar to where breast imaging was. But this is the second floor. So we have multiple reading rooms here, one of which is the neuroradiology reading room. Uh, we'll show you to the right. Um, but before we do that, we wanted to show you where all the scans, uh, the majority of them are done, um, right across the room. No, I, no, yeah. Come on, let's take a Good. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, so, my name is Marie Hausner. I'm the safety lead for MRI. This is the main Smilo area in North Pavilion. If you want to take a few steps closer. The, these two rooms by the windows are both three Tesla. And the room to the left of you is the 1.5 Tesla. The whole hospital is all Siemens. And this is the area where we do all the uh, the smile inpatients, uh, we do outpatient uh, heart stress exams, and then the inpatient pacemakers mm -hmm. from this hospital, and also St. Ray's come over here. And how many scanners overall do we have? Overall we have uh, 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, operating room there's a three Tesla, mm -hmm. which is on the third floor. Mm -hmm. Come down to the second floor, there's three here, a 1.5 and two 3Ts. Mm -hmm. The first floor is another three Tesla. Three. If you go over to the West Pavilion, there is another three Tesla. It's a, a newer model. Uh, we do all the, we try to keep all the pediatric patients over there as best we can. And then across the street, there's three more magnets. There's two one fives and a three Tesla over in the Fitkin area. Uh, St. Rayfield's has two, a, a 1.5 and a three T. North Haven has two three Ts. There's a lot, right? Yeah, well, we see yeah. a lot of studies here. Yeah, so and then um, everyone busy. And eventually we're getting a one, te a one Tesla in the NICU. Oh, perfect. Uh, but that was on a little bit of delay. So that should be coming maybe next year. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Oh, are you seeing So we'll take you across to the reading rooms. It's a short walk to the neuroradiology reading room. So welcome. Our most of your MR is read uh, throughout the day and in the evening, 24 hours a day. Someone is always staffing this reading room. Uh, we have some of our trainees here. Hi hey, Nicole. Hi. How are you doing? What are you up to? Uh, just reading some MRs. Nice. Right. And you were a resident here. What made you want to stay for fellowship? Uh, well, I knew I how it works, and you faculty members are very supportive and knowledgeable. Wonderful. Faculty members? Hey, everyone. Radiology Ninja. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm doing a brain perfusion. Oh. Patient had surgery, and so sometimes we do that to see if there's any changes. that Give us the clue if there's a tumor coming back or not. And how long have you been at Yale? Uh, I've been here, uh, I did fellowship here and then I've been on faculty for about three years. Mm -hmm. And what are you involved in, you know, locally, internationally, uh, research wise? Locally, we do, do a lot for uh, patient care, We're trying to develop some more advanced imaging, We're trying to use AI to kind of help with reading scans more efficiently, uh, more efficiently imaging patients uh, on a more local or potentially national level. I'm also uh, one of the communications officers, so we do uh, patient-facing communications like Facebook, Twitter, and uh, try to get the community educated as well. And uh, I'm also on some of the national committees like ASNR, RSNA, and ASSR for the social committee, social media platforms. Yeah, we see a lot of your cases on uh, ASSR on Twitter. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, following. Great. <laughs> uh, what's the best thing that's uh, brought me here at Yale for you? Uh, everyone's just very collegial, which is 
is great. You know, if I need help, you know, Anthony's sitting in the room here. I can always pick his brain. Hey, and, Anthony. Uh, always How's it going, faculty members? <coughs> and uh, you know, there's a lot of resources here for research and uh, just even developing education even better. I know you guys have seen some like RSNA Live uh, lectures I've given. Uh, that seems to be somewhat popular. People like to compete with each other. It seems. Um, it's, it's just been a, a good experience here as well. Anything else you want to add for the medical students while they're just here or your interaction with some of the trainees? Uh, you know, everyone that's, that comes here seems to be very nice, collegial, and uh, you guys are all super smart. We work together, which is great. So that, that's a real plus. You were a fellow here. I was a fellow here, and this is my third year. Right? You started as an attending a year ago? Uh, that's correct, yeah. yeah. How's it been so far? It's been great, actually. Yeah. It's like, um, it's a really great environment to like, uh, learn and to like, uh, get training at. Uh, it's like, uh, we try always to like improve things from the training standpoint, but uh, always like, Always uh, modifying things in a better way, just to make sure that uh, residents and fellows are getting good feedback, uh, getting good teaching, good education. That's what we try to do. Like, uh, uh, not like I'm like uh, trying to help out Dr. Zucconi in, uh, uh, in, in the program, in the neuroradiology program, just to improve things and get things better. Yeah. Thank you so much. Dr. Langdon? Langdon, one of our. Uh, Residents, he's on the Holman Pathway uh, research track. That's right, yes. Um, so, how's it been so far in Neuro? And you can talk a little bit about Holman Pathway. Oh, well, um, it's like my second day on Neuro, but <laughs> I'm loving it. I think Neuro is absolutely great. Um, as far as like the Holman Pathway, I was an opportunity to, to take some of your uh, your residency training and use it for research uh, to get, get more of like a more in depth academic experience. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just like a split time between uh, doing your research and doing your clinicals. And I, I think it's an excellent opportunity given all the research opportunities that are at Yale. So, you know, when I was thinking about it, I was like, you know, I've got this opportunity to really work in, um, you know, artificial intelligence and really work with some of the best people in the world as far as artificial intelligence applications to radiology are concerned. And I thought it would be excellent opportunity and it absolutely has been so and you've been getting yeah. dedicated time off when you work with the chief relevance to yes to yeah yeah to, to kind of negotiate dedicated good. research good. time so it's i have some protected time to really get some really in-depth training in ai yeah right. thank you great all right we'll get back to it so you have it. This is just a typical reading room here um, for neuroradiology. Uh, this is my cancer center. Um, we have another reading room for neuro in this campus uh, that we'll be showing you uh, as well. left off at the uh, Neuro uh, MR reading room with Smilo. Uh, most of our CT uh, during 8 to 5 is read here uh, in the Fitkin building. So we'll walk over here uh, into the CT and plain foam reading room for our radiology. Our radiology reading room. Hey guys. How's it going? Good, good. Always introduce yourselves. How are you doing in case you're reading? Sure. Hi, my name's Joe, one of the R1s. Uh, reading, looking at a case of CT angiogram right now, which is just barely looking at a case of diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis. Um, what else do you want to know? Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. been a few months, right? Yeah, uh, two months. Two months. Two months. How's months. the transition been and how's Fantastic. it been like being at Yale? Uh, loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, Yale's been phenomenal. I uh, came from UPMC um, and uh, started with musculoskeletal and with ultrasound scanning, and now I'm neuro, almost done with neuro, and then moving on to body. Um, yeah, that's good. You're one of our senior residents. Yeah, uh, my name is Bilal, I'm one of the fourth years. Um, Right now, I'm looking at this uh, CT of the soft tissue neck uh, for a patient with head and neck cancer. Um, this is my uh, 
second week on the service, so and uh, it's uh, it's been uh, pretty good so far. What's the best thing about being here at Yale so far? Oh, um, it's uh, everything, but mainly what stands out really is the uh, uh, diversity um, and the uh, variety of cases as well that we see. We really have no one um, kind of category of, of uh, cases that we're not exposed to. We have um, from trauma cases to head and neck, oh, I'm sorry, the cancer cases to um, very um, you know advanced, very basic bread and butter. It's a really good mixture of things. All right. Over to our newest attendants. You introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Sandra. I'm one of the new uh, attendants in neurotology. Can you tell us a little bit of your background? You're a fellow here. What made you want to yeah, stay? Yeah, I was a fellow last year. Everything about Yale made me want to stay. So, like the collegial uh, atmosphere here, everyone is extremely nice, and there is like a lot of diversity. They embrace diversity. I'm originally like from Lebanon, and I did my fellowship here. I fell in love with the program and the institution. So, I really want to stay, and I'm glad I got to stay. So. And uh, you presented uh, a lot of the uh, national meetings and uh, research you talked about from the training side, how that's been a measure of the mentorship and doing uh, research. Yeah, I've like, had a lot of opportunities to work on research projects and I presented at uh, a lot of meetings like uh, last year. Uh, we uh, went to the ASSR, American uh, Society of Spine Radiology, and they had the research projects presented there. Uh, ASNR, we had to do it online and virtually, but we also had the chance to present and like win some of the prizes. So there's a lot of opportunity uh, for research and for growth, even like during one year of fellowship. Any other things you want to mention? Uh, I just like wish everyone good luck, and uh, it would be really nice to get into this program and institution. Thank you. Sure, thank you. One of her other things. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your background and, uh, and how you got to Yale? Um, sure. So um, I did my medical school in Tehran University, went to uh, Boston, Mass General, did a couple of years of research fellowship from there to. University of Minnesota for residency and then UCSF for fellowship and then after doing a year of clinical instructor there I joined Yale uh, 2018 uh, and so far it has been really a uh, good experience I've got the opportunity to work with fantastic you know residents and fellows here and truly enjoying it You've been involved in a lot of research. You recently gave the NIH grant rounds. Um, can you talk a little bit about the cutting edge research you're doing here? Sure. So I, I was actually looking into uh, a research oriented uh, career. So uh, in when I was a fellow, I applied for the RSNA grant. I got a RSNA fellow grant. And then after my move to Yale, I got RSNA seed grant. And then there is the award uh, as well. Uh, my research in recent years have focused on application of uh, AI and machine learning. Um, I have also worked on brain connectomics in uh, children with neurodevelopmental disease and autism specifically. Um, I also have interest in uh, brain cancer as well as head and neck cancer. Uh, this is a great institute in terms of having the infrastructure and uh, uh, the research setup to you know for those who are interested in you know pursuing a you know academic career at whatever level whether it's like residents or fellows um uh, we have uh, great residents and fellows who are all, all involved in research um so if this is something that uh, anybody is interested in there is definitely a great opportunities here you uh, recently published in stroke with one of the junior team yeah so yeah so congratulations thank you so yeah, we have, uh, um, you know, two of our current residents, are, um, Khaled and Ali, are actually involved and uh, they're working with people in my lab. We also had the former chief resident, uh, Kim Seifert, who worked with us and she's now in Stanford for her fellowship. So, yes, whoever is, you know, like interested, you know, like we, there are like tons of opportunities 
either with me or other people in our section or other sections. So, yeah, this has been a great experience. What's the best thing so far been about being at Yale? Um, I, I think just the, you know, it, this is a great place for uh, people who are pursuing like different aspects in radiology. Definitely the uh, volume of the cases and the, uh, um, you know, the diversity of the pathologies that you see here is a great experience for becoming a radiologist. Uh, we do have great opportunities for those who are seeking into like a healthcare policy or administrative with the work that you know with the you know close connections that uh, our special emergency department has with the uh, Yale uh, School of Health, uh, Public Health, as well as you know like a business school. Um, if you're interested in pursuing a career in research, there is like you know definitely great you know opportunities here. Um, and then for those who are interested in like an education, you know, um, career, we also have like fantastic, you know, tracks that can, you know, guide you toward uh, becoming a great educator. So whatever you per uh, pursue, whether it's like a, you know, private practice, becoming a healthcare leader or, you know, good educator or researcher, there are definitely those paths here. So. I think that that's the, the best thing about this program. Thank you so much. For your Thank time. you. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Always great seeing you. Likewise. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. This is the Neuros ET reading room. Uh, we had some of the residents uh, and some of the attendings as well. Um, and we'll also feature some of the other uh, members of the neuroradiology uh, department as well shortly.